every year around this time, you ask yourself, how do I finally become a full stack developer? With new frameworks and buzzwords flying around in the web development world, it's kinda easy to lose track of what's really important. Someone said Astro is the next big thing, while SwellKid is the cool new kid on the block, but then Next.js is the OG. Which startup Pokemon should you choose in 2023? To stay up to date with all the web development trends, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click that bell icon so you get notified about the weekly drops of fresh developer content and it's really every week. Before we get into some reasonable technology choices, let's quickly define what a full stack developer actually is or does. Full stack means you can control, understand, create the full stack of your application. You can code the front end of your application that people see, you can build the back end, which offers some kind of API, you can connect to a database, SQL, NoSQL, doesn't really matter. And in the perfect world, you also know about how to deploy both front end and back end in sort of a DevOps role. All of this really sounds like you need a giant brain, but in reality you just need to understand one language, and that is JavaScript. Everything that follows is really based on the assumption that you know JavaScript. And you really don't need to be an expert in JavaScript, you just need to know the basics, and learning the basics of JavaScript is actually not that hard, given that it's not really hard to pick up in general. The easiest way to create a backend with JavaScript is Express.js, a really minimalist web framework for Node.js. You might not see it mentioned very often, because other Node.js frameworks are more fancy but trust me it offers everything that you need to build your server. In fact, most other popular frameworks actually use Express under the hood, so you kind of do yourself a favor by getting started with the basics. Popular frameworks like Nest.js or Fastify offer just additional features in terms of the developer experience, the architecture, or specific areas where they shine. And really, there are countless great frameworks that you can use with Node.js in JavaScript, but getting started with Express really offers all the basics that you need to create your first API. Understanding those fundamentals will really already carry you like 50% of the way and with those basic skills you should already be able to get developer jobs in your area because there are already tons of existing express applications that need still maintenance or development in the future. While getting used to express also take some time to invest how you can connect a database to your server. Whether you want to use a traditional SQL database or a more fancy NoSQL database like MongoDB is completely up to you but I got started back then with MongoDB MongoDB, which was super easy to set up locally and you can also use Atlas in the cloud and then collect to a cloud instance of your Mongo database and that's pretty easy to integrate with Express and other Node.js frameworks as well. By connecting your server to a database you really learn about the essentials of an API, how to grab data from the database, transform it and then return it back to the client who made the request to the API. My recommendation is also to check out Nest.js which has a great architecture built in and it is one of the most popular Node.js frameworks so if you have some time, check it out as well. Now that you get your first API up and running, it's time to connect the front end to that API and actually display the data. And when I say front end, this mostly refers to a web application or a website, but it could also just be an iOS or an Android application which connects to your API, because that's why you made this API. It only returns JSON data and how you present it is completely up to that specific front end. Pretty much everything that can present the data can be considered a front end, could also be a picture here at my wall if it can connect to my API. If you want to follow the market and have the most job opportunities, of course, there's no way around React.js currently. React has a huge ecosystem, tons of projects are built on React and React currently dominates the job market as well. It might not be my personal preference right now, but there's no deny that React has a huge ecosystem and picking React as your first framework in the full stack is definitely a great choice. If you look left and right, you're going to see other popular frameworks like Vue or Angular, but currently Swelt is also catching up, but for the moment, Moment, it's okay to just focus on React. These frameworks are mainly used to create SPAs, single page applications. That means your application will load all the resources from a server and then this SPA will handle all the further logic like navigation or making requests to your API. And it's definitely a great starting point to just create a few projects with React and connect them to your API so you get exposed to JavaScript and of course also TypeScript. So please, for the sake of your own career, just get used to TypeScript. TypeScript won't disappear, it's not like you have to learn any kind of new language
language it is just types on top of javascript and they won't disappear it's like typescript is javascript 2.0 at this point trust me in about four weeks you don't want to go back to javascript anymore if you use typescript at this point you're pretty much already a full stack developer you can build the back end you can build the front end and you can hook this up and make a connection between them however for all the cool javascript frameworks out there you can currently find a full stack framework that means react has next Vue has next or swelled has swelled kit if you already feel comfortable about your skills with react or any other framework you could also probably skip the previous step and just go right to this point where you get used to a full stack framework these full stack frameworks offer usually a lot of cool things on top of the actual framework like file based routing uh, you can create api endpoints or you can implement server-side rendering which then improves your seo score or the load time of your page did he just say api endpoints what about my express application well that's a cool thing about these frameworks you have a front end component which is like the pages of your website but then you also have application endpoints that run in a safe server environment so you can have database calls you can have secret keys in there and then directly return the data to your front end and that is where the term full stack once again totally makes sense well that's almost like using php again isn't it Shh. Since React dominates the market, Next.js is of course the logical choice in here as well as Next.js is on top of the list as well. My personal favorite is SwelteKit which is based on Swelt and developers just love Swelt for its simplicity and for how Swelt works, it is just amazing. It's pretty much taking all the good things out of React, Vue and Angular and putting them all together in Swell. Nonetheless, for job opportunities right now, Next.js is probably the safer bet for you. So now we've come full circle from APIs and servers to front ends to full stack frameworks that offer everything in once. On top of that, you might also find meta frameworks like Astro, which pretty much integrate all the popular frameworks. So you could use Vue, React and Swelt in an Astro application to create an MPA, which is a multi-page application. Difference here is that for every page, you make a request to the server, but we could do a whole video on SPA with an MPA in the future. Anyway, the basic requirement for all of this is learn JavaScript and learn TypeScript. Do we actually really need to talk about learning? typescript in 2023 please besides that it's of course always good to keep your eyes open for things like quick solid party town remix and all these fancy other framework coming up but if you want to have a safe bet get into react get into Next.js and you're going to have the best chances as a full stick developer on the market. But of course, to still follow all the trends and understand what's going on, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified about the fresh video drops every week and you don't miss the latest shiny JavaScript framework, which pretty much comes out every week anyway. I hope this gave you a starting point on your journey to become a full stick developer. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment with the technology stack that you're going to select in 2023. I'll catch you in the next one. So until then, as always, happy coding, Simon.